What's up YouTube, we're here at Sea Otter at the downhill track and I'm just gonna take you down the track from top to bottom during pro practice and scope out some lines. This track gets a lot of hate because it's not a real downhill track, which is true, but it's also a lot more technical than you would think. And uh, since it is like pretty straightforward, it really comes down to the details and the pros are still doing some really cool stuff to go a lot faster on this, uh, yeah, flat out, short, weird little downhill track in Monterey. So this is the first jump. It's uh, used to be a lot bigger, but now it's pretty much a curb. So riders are bunny hopping it, scrubbing it, or just completely squashing it and putting in a few pedal strokes, but basically just staying low, carrying speed. And then into the next section, you actually want to set up wide here like you see this second rider do, uh, jumping right to the edge of the left side of the track. And that allows him to cut over um, inside for the right for the next section, which is the pump and jump. And this will actually set him up better on the outside of the track going into the next left-handed corner. This is the pump and jump. There's that first roller that most riders are sucking up. You pull off the second one and it's a pretty decent sized gap uh, into this next left-handed corner. And you can see all three riders here casing it pretty bad. Kind of first runs in the morning, usually not going fast enough. Here we have Aiden and Colton hitting it with some pace, but Colton hits a crazy soft spot. This corner gets surprisingly blown out, and if you're not careful, it'll totally just swallow your front wheel, um, which Colton finds out there. And then this rider gets a little off-track excursion, and it's all because he jumped a bit too far inside, which made him tee up this corner a little harder than he needed to. Like I said in that previous clip, it's really important to get this pump and jump, but set up really far on the outside so you can make that corner a little easier on yourself. And then the other option is to jump and then I guess pump uh, into the corner and this guy makes it look pretty good. You kind of can jump some of those braking bumps into the corner, um, but really I think it's personal preference. You see Randy here with the front wheel high, full send technique, uh, doesn't even set up that good, but drops a foot and totally rails this section. So no one would ever tell you to hit this section like that, but Mark Osborne's able to make it work for him somehow. Um, Jill Kittner looking really good in this section. Jill's like a really uh, nice rider to watch. Always takes smooth lines and uh, yeah, hit that section really clean. And then this next section just looks like a total normal piece of track with not much going on, but half the battle on the sea otter downhill is to dodge all these soft spots and find the firm sections of track. So you see this rider pumping, getting to the hard section of track, getting on the gas, and then carrying a lot of speed. And then after a bit of a pedal, you get into these two corners, and there's a bit of a sneaky line out of the exit here, and Win shows you right here. So hopping out of this corner early, you're able to actually get on top of the berm and get a good pump. So you're kind of compressed in the corner. Gino here unweights early and then hops to this perfect, nice little firm downside. And you're making the track straighter. You're missing a soft section of track and it's a really nice little line. And Dylan here really pumps the crap out of it. Um, and you're able to generate speed out of that pump as well. So a really nice, sneaky and efficient line. And then even in a section like this, again, not much going on, but Marco here searching for that hard section of track, just riding the very edge of the track that's smoother and not as soft. And then here, another rider, you know, choosing the other side of the track, but with the same goal, just to get that little extra bit of rolling speed and yeah, find the smoothest section of track possible. And then you're hauling ass, tucking down here. This is an uphill, but you're usually going so fast that you don't actually have to pedal that hard. And then into this next section, doesn't look like much, but it's just really hard to get right. And Cody Kelly here does a really nice bit of bike riding. This left hander is so hard to get right to set up all the way. And you need to get all the way up there and Cody unweights over that little roller and pumps that section. It's so easy to get sucked into the inside and teeing it up and not getting any exit speed, uh, unfortunately. Nikki doesn't make it too good. Um, Wynn hits it pretty decent there too. And then this rider, uh, don't know her name, but hits it really good. Again, setting up all the way outside, kind of unweighting over that hump, and then she's pedaling out of this corner 
while probably most riders are still turning and teeing that thing up. Last little pedal section, put down the power. You don't really touch your brakes after that flat. And then, yeah, there's this nice little step up, pump a few rollers, and then you start really hauling. This is always my favorite section of track because you're just going so fast and there's a few little step downs that feel just like bunny hops, but you end up going like 30 feet. And there is one little line choice here uh, that's missing a soft spot. So there's that big bomb hole right in the landing and you'll see different options that riders take to try and avoid it. That guy just hucked right over it, but um, yeah, this rider kind of snipes the left edge of it and stays low. All these lines are super minuscule, but times on this track come down to like tenths and hundredths of a second. So that rider snipes it on the right side, uh, and then this guy hits it dead on, and you can just see his bike like fully bottoms out, um, and that's gonna cost him speed. With these other lines, the suspension's just not getting as compressed, and you're staying on the firm part of the track. Again, snipes on the right, right there, just around that soft spot, and then stays low. Uh, Gino here is the king of the tuck, um, always getting in that aerodynamic position, and as soon as you're done, you know, being dynamic on the bike, you want to get straight into that aerodynamic position. And there's a crazy, like, super cross section after it. Don't really see what's the fast line there, but um, Bernard makes it look super easy and good. Uh, and again, Bernard goes for the the full huck option. I guess if you're going fast enough, you don't really need to pull up too much for it, but just landing on that firm section of track without having to pull up that much. And then this is a terrible section of track. The finish straight, all rutted out from the wet weather. And yeah, there's just a variety of lines uh, that people take to just bunny hop through that stuff. This is race runs. So this is for all the marbles. Mick Hanna here looking like a boss and just, yeah, hopping through that garbage soft stuff. Um, yeah, not sure which was faster. There's a few different options here, but regardless, these guys are smoked, putting down a big effort and uh, still being able to be like really light and dynamic on the bike to get that thing to the finish as fast as possible. And there's Cody, the last rider, bringing it home. And that's about it for the video. If you guys are liking the content, hit subscribe. Got a lot more coming. I'm still injured at the moment, and there's a few races uh, I'm looking to go to, so doing some more line breakdown content is in the future. And uh, regardless, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.